is Donate Life Month. Nearly 29,000 lives were saved by organ transplants last year. Still, more than 121,000 people nationwide continue to wait. More than 35,000 of those people are right here in the Commonwealth. In a story you'll only see on WSLS 10, a local mother tells our own Rachel Lucas about how her teenage son's decision to become an organ donor not only saved dozens of lives, but also helped her family cope with tragedy. I mean, in my wildest dreams, I would have never dreamed of having to go through this experience. An experience that Jane Fisher LaPrade and her husband have now lived through for 15 years. I don't think there's anything worse than to lose a child. Her son Keith LaPrade was just 16 years old when he was tragically killed in a car accident while driving home from tennis practice. A student at Franklin County High School, his life was just beginning. His mother says he was planning to go to college. He was the type of person who brightened up the room. This scrapbook was a gift made by his friends. Keith always smiled. He was always in the best mood. It tells the story of the beautiful person his peers knew him as. His giving nature followed him even in death. It helps me in my grief process to know that he was able to do something for somebody else. After three heart-wrenching days in the hospital, on March 2nd, 2001, Keith took his last breath. That night, his parents were shocked to learn that Keith had signed up to be an organ donor. The thing about this is that he had spoken with his two older sisters about it, but had not said anything to his parents, and we did not know that that's what he wanted to do. A registered nurse, 45 years in the health profession, couldn't have prepared Jane for the decision that she was forced to make. At that time, it was very difficult, but now, as time has gone on, it has certainly been something that has helped us along the way to know that we were able to do that and that we were able to help someone else, and that's what he wanted. Keith's donation of life was able to help almost 100 burn victims. His parents were contacted by another whose life he saved. Dozens of others are out there somewhere, alive today, because of her son. Oh, it makes me feel great. Yeah, makes me even more proud of him. Do you think he'd be proud? Yeah. In Roanoke, Rachel Lucas, WSLS 10.